Hello, everybody. It's Monday, January 21st. It is the Monday before Vogue Knitting Live, and we just wanted to podcast. I'm Dinah. You can find me at The Knitting Place on Instagram, Facebook, and Ravelry. And I am Pam Sapp on uh, Instagram and Ravelry, and Pam Sapienza on Facebook. Good. Now that we got all the officials out of the way. There you go. You know where to find us. Uh, we decided to podcast so we could give you a glimpse of what we're going to have in our booth at Vogue. Clearly, we can't show you everything, but we will give you a sneak peek. And of course, we also realize that many of you can't even be at Vogue, so we will. We, we should really try to video when we're there, Dinah. Do we will try videos, to video, but we, we do. We've been getting many requests for some of the kits, and um, it's a little bit difficult right now because as we're packing things up and I'm moving them to my house, some of the kits are already um, out of the shop. They're out mm -hmm. of the shop, so we can't really ship just as yet. If there's anything in the shop, I'd be happy to ship, or if you give me a heads up, um, if there's something that you want. If I do sell out at Vogue, I'll be happy to put you on the list uh, for pre-orders. So don't despair. You are not missing out. Don't despair. No FOMO. <laughs> Well, you have to have some FOMO. Fear of missing out. Yeah, we'll try to keep FOMO, you connected. Right, right. Um, but we wanted to give you a glimpse of what's going on here at the shop. Yep. So uh, what are you wearing? Let's start with what you're wearing. I think we've covered that one before. I think I wore this the last time, or I might have worn it for a bit. It's, what is it called, Diana? It's called the Pammy Cow. I have a hard time saying After that. Pam. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's one of the... Uh, just something that uh, will be available at Vogue. Yes, it's one of the original designs that we'll have at Vogue. It takes two skeins, and uh, we'll have them. We'll try to have them kitted up, likely with the pattern. Correct. It's a one night, back. and it's a one night knit, yeah. so which is lovely. Easy piece. All one piece. Well, on and off. Really nice. Anyway, that's what I'm wearing. What are you wearing, <clears throat> Dinah? Oh, I actually just finished this. This is Ingles. I still have a few ends, but shh, don't don't show anyone your ends. It's the Ingles sweater by Boylan Knitworks. Nice. And I worked it up in Madeline Tosh DK, and I also paired the snowflakes with a mohair. This so, has a little bit of glitter in it. Yes, you can't really see it. But I can see it. If you come to Vogue, you'll get a close-up look. For, yeah, exactly. <laughs> close-up look. What's going on? Um, so, Ingles, and we'll have lots of sweater quantities in Madeline Tosh DK, and the right. DK is going to go a long way. We have a lot of samples. We have the Malibu shawl, which was the Long Island knit along, which was that's absolutely right. yeah. fantastic. That's we nice. had a lot of participants, and yep. I think that's going to be a great, it's a great shawl if you just want three skeins of DK, that's right. um, especially with all the indie dyers out there. It would be fun if you just even took, you know, let's say you wanted to support three booths. You could a get skein, a skein at each skein. booth no, and just idea. pair them together, which is really nice because you yep. kind of share the wealth and, yep. you know, everyone has a budget, so Absolutely. it's kind of nice to do that. And what else did we wavy have in touch? Legs. Oh, wavy legs. Lisa is knitting us a sample in a hat called wavy legs. That's been a popular hat here in the shop. Jody Brown actually designed both of those pieces, Did I you? should say. Yes. Yeah, no, so that's right. That's the right. Malibu shawl. Do you want to get it? It's right sure. over there. So the Malibu shawl is designed by Jody Brown as well as Wavy Legs. And I will insert pictures of, I can insert a picture of Wavy Legs. I don't have the actual sample here. And this one you've seen before. This one is the Malibu, Malibu shawl. Another quick knit. It's a quick knit. It's fun. Three skeins. Especially for all your indie dyers, it's a good one to yeah, get. Yeah, it is a great one to get. So that's one. Pam, yes. could you also get, um, I'm sorry, Turtle Dove and the Dickey? Just to cover the Luft yarn. And actually getting warmers on. It's over there. Sorry, guys, I'm not editing this, so you're going to hear me talking. <laughs> all right, so maybe what I'll do is talk about something else that I have here. So... Just uh, going back to the Pammy Cowl for a minute. Yep. I don't know if you guys know, uh, there's a brand called Wool Addicts. It's from Lang. And mm -hmm. one of the yarns that we used is Fire. It's a big chunky this. one. The big, it's a big super chunky. chunky right. bulky. So that's what's used in the Pammy Cowl as Doubles. well as... <laughs> Doubles. Right. You're going to need 17 cirques for I that one. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then we also have a sample of the Big Hat, which you may have seen on uh, Instagram. It's you know, one skein of the fire, yeah. which is another, it's the same chunky yarn, and we it's have big, the beautiful big, big, coordinated, big, big yes, very big hat. <clears throat> Goes quick, 
again a one skein project nice and quick mm -hmm. this here is the tamatic pam just knit the sample up for the shop it's done with two colors in earth also by wool addicts so this is a fun one and there's plenty of yarn left you can have your yarn choice in color for the pom-pom and i'm not sure which way i'm gonna go i might make two and see which one i like better maybe use both maybe use both there or you, you can put fur on if you want. If you That's want a fur pom pom, right. you could. We're going to have lots of those. And here I am with the big hat. Now, the big hat, you can also, you see, look. <laughs> no, slouch it. <laughs> you can turn it up, which looks right. really great. You, or slouch it, you know, wear or it down and right. have it coming out. But right. this this pom is one of the vegan poms. Yep. And it, again, you can see we're, we're specializing in quick knits. Another yes. quick knit, right? Well, not all of the not things. Not all of the But things. we're starting with but quick some knits. Of them. Some of them. That's right. Anyway. All right. So let's segue. Am I into what am I doing next? Uh, how about you want to do this? Sure, we could talk about that. So I don't know if you guys know, but um, <clears throat> we spoke about having Lisa and Melissa, our friends from East Bostry Co., are gracious enough to give us an hour on Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. Wow. We're going to do a meet and greet. And one of the nice things is, is we're going to have some of their samples. So mm. we knit up the turtle dove. The infamous turtle dove. Right? Yes. And what I do have to say is I'm so excited to say that we are going to have a tremendous amount of Luft in the booth. So if you guys were thinking of the turtle dove sweater. Or. Or. The Mitra hat. The Mitra hat. Mitra which hat. I will insert a picture. I made one for my husband and for my son. Or. The Gret? Gret. The Flet. Gret. No, Gret. Gret. The Gret. It's the Dicky that's done in Luft. Luft. You can do Getting Warmer, which is over there. Sorry, Pam. Oh, I, and I we also it have Shelly Anderson's pieces. I think they're still in the back. Yeah, Sorry, they're, guys. They're I guess we're not as prepared as we would have liked. This is Getting Warmer. So that's another piece. East Space. East, East Bas. Bas yes, Excuse East Bastry Co. So this is done again in Luft. So we're gonna have all the colors, all the samples. So if you wanna come and maybe if you wanna print or pre-print a pattern, maybe the girls will be kind enough to sign them oh, I'm if sure you'd they like. Would, yeah. And we also have On the Sea Train, which is a hat that was designed by Melissa. I think Lisa designed On the Sea Train. Uh, did I just say Melissa? You did. I'm sorry. Lisa, yeah. uh, excuse me. So Lisa designed that one. You want to put it on? Sure. It's a really cute hat. It's I see an end. Yeah, Joan. <laughs> Joan doesn't like to weave in This her is end. a nice one. That's a gorgeous hat. So that's one skein of far. And for this particular one, we paired it with a um, metallic mohair. mohair, which is really nice. It's got a very subtle sparkle. So we figured for New York. Why not? Need to Be have a little sparkly. Need to have our glitz. Exactly. Okay. So that's that. So that's that. We have a few more samples that we could show you in Luft from Shelly Anderson. They're in the back. You I want to get them? Um, yes. Yes, if you don't mind. And in the meantime, I'll talk about the delivery that we got in the fiber seed. So we're going to have half speckled in the booth. A lot of you have commented on our hat that we had modeled. It's called the depth hat. And this happens to be the depth cowl. And I just want to give a shout out to Susan. Do Thank you, know you for knitting this up and letting me borrow it. I'm not sure. It might be over there somewhere. I may have a sample here for my hat, but if not, you guys get the idea. Yeah, the hat's striking though. Yeah, the hat is striking. So actually knitting it on my way back from <clears throat> Italy. I can insert a picture. Okay, so we have you wanted this, a little right? piece. Oh, we have a few pieces here from Shelly Anderson. So a special thank you to Shelly. This is her new. Oh, this is a new design. Sweater. What's that called? Um, I don't have my glasses on. Do you? Can you see it? Triton. This is the Triton sweater. This I is also done scenes. in loft, and this is gorgeous detail on the increase for the sleeves. And then she's got the little drop shoulder sleeve. And a nice vent on. This is like side. a dolman sleeve. Yep. is what you call it. Yep. With it's a got vent. the beautiful vent. And That's this a is deep just bend too. Nice and long. It's got to be like at least that. five inches. Yep. So this is this Triton, uses yep, and it loft. uses luft. Yep. So we're gonna have all the colors in luft. We're super excited. Thank you, Shelly, for your beautiful design. And then we have the Mitra cardigan, 
I know we mentioned the Mitra. I, I hope I'm saying it right. Mitra or Mitra? I said Mitra, but I don't Mitra. know. Mitra. I have, I have, you know, don't go by me. So this here in the raisin color is the Mitra cardigan. Another gorgeous design by Shelly Anderson. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Look at that. Stunning. And nice. I don't know if you're aware, but there's the lateral braid detail that's going right above the rib. Lovely detail, nice. and it's got a beautiful cast on. I love this color, this raisin the color. The raisin, it's very popular. Color, yep. As a matter of fact, that's what I just gave Barbara. Barbara's going to do a sample for us the hat, for the booth. Right? Yep. It's going to match it. I have a feeling my husband might be wearing his. And if you <laughs> Tell saw him my Insta going, post, you have to be, he has to wear it. <laughs> right. Zach went home with the, uh, or went back to school. With the hat on, right? With his hat, yep. And this here is another sample. Can you, I don't have my glasses on. Sure. It's called Cassis. Cassis. This is another beautiful sample. It needs to be seen, steamed. But this is done in far, wool folk far, which we will also have at the show. So this is another little sneak peek as to some of the goodies that will be at the booth. There you go. And should we talk about this beautiful sample that... Yeah, these are two beauties, actually. This one is... Um, this is Slow Curves. Here, you want to talk about it? Because you're more familiar with well, it. Well, this is from Hohi Logatelli. This is gorgeous. She designed this last year. It uses a fingering weight yarn. We've used Madeline Tosh Light. But and this gradient, oh my. How do you like that gradient, that guys? Four fabulous. Colors there. Yep, you can go up close. Look at that. And that lo lovely ending. There's like a great little... Um, Pico? Pico at the end, a little stitch there which is cute, and um, it's a lovely shawl. It's a fun knit. How many skeins was it? Four. Four. Four fingering. So you get four. four. Well, four Madeline Tosh, which is about, depends on what you use, but they have 420 yards in Madeline Oh, wait, Tosh. there was a thing with this. Right. The third color, the, not the last, the darkest color. It's done from the top down, but the third color we ran at, that uses the most yarn. We were right, short if I'm not mistaken. Just a few yards. Right. So you wouldn't know it, but what um, we had asked, or what I had asked Barbara to do, was to just continue in the fourth color. Right. So there may, they, there may not be as much of a melt as you would the other colors. I still and I think guess it's pretty good, though. Definitely. Yeah. You see the melt, but it may not be as deep because we ran out of the third now, color. Now, obviously, you don't have to do that, but it's kind of silly to buy a 400 like skein right. yarn. You, you know. could buy a fifth skein if you are. Or another option is you could take one of the other colors that you have if you wanted to and do it at that point. But we felt it would take away from the melt, which is why we didn't do it. Right. That. I wanted to keep right. the synergy of the green. Right. Meat. Exactly. So, I mean, you have options, but it's just Love something the shawl. you should This know. is a great one. It was a fun piece. According to Barbara, it was a fun piece. Well, it's it. nice with garter stitch. It's done with short rows. That's how she got the curve. And the short rows in mm -hmm. garter stitch, there's no wrap and turn. There's no German short row. You just right. turn. So it's kind of nice was, after doing all of the fun, other fun short knit. rows. The sample here is called Frost. Indigo Frost. Indigo Frost, excuse me. And that is by, is yeah. that Isabel Kramer? You know I get them mixed I up. I believe it's Isabel Kramer. If I'm mistaken, you'll see it in the show notes. Um, we knit our sample. A work. Yes. A little bit of color work and you have a little bit of lace mm -hmm. this sample was knit in Kenzie which we will have last year you uh, we introduced you to Kenzie we had done it in the Swan show at the booth mm, that was great yes and we will have Kenzie at the booth so if you felt like you missed out on the Swan show there you can you come in and pick out colors or you could pick out colors for your and this frost. is nice if you just want a little introduction to color work nothing crazy yeah, it's one top. by one, right. right? There's a little bit of three by one, right? So you're not doing intense color work. You right. don't have to worry about twisting or locking yeah. the yarn in. It's just basic color work, exactly. Which so is that's nice. a nice piece. And then we have. Did you pull the shift? We got a beautiful I delivery did shift. What did I do? of spin cycle yarns. So we it will have some spin cycle dyed in the wool, and we'll have some dream state for you. And Pam was gracious enough to knit a new sample for the shop. It's Ooh, called the... Oh, the uh, Vintage Damask. Thank you. This is the... Um, this is dyed in the wool. And this was done for the shift cowl. The shift cowl. And I'm of course, there's also... I will. There's also the night shift, too, in the Dream State, which is... Uh, isn't that pretty? Another Andrew Mowry design. Look at those pretty it's colors. Beautiful. And one is prettier than the next, and they're all different. It's amazing. Regardless, no two are alike. No two are alike, no matter what colors you pick, right? Even if you pick the same colors, you you know, you might have seen it on the night shift. 
or right? It's called the night, sh night, night shift. Night shift is the dream state one. Right. This is just the shift. But you can have the same palette, the same colors. I think it was five or was it six or seven colors? On the night shift was six. Six. Yeah. So every you know, a lot of people have done it in the original colors, and I don't think I've seen two alike. They're similar in color. Right. But the way they vary the yeah, way Yeah, because they the way out, the color changes and correct. I mean I guess if you did the way um the way that it was featured in Ravelry maybe it might be a little similar. You know, because she, be. you know, but you don't have to use those colors. Got to live on the edge. What'd you use with that again? That's this so one? pretty. This yeah, I know was, it was Dream State, but what'd you pair it with? Uh, plump. Oh, right. Plump DK. Plump DK from Mrs. Moon. Look at how gorgeous that is. <laughs> That's perfect for today, actually. Exactly. Nice <laughs> it is so cold out. A little fleur de lis action going on. There. I love it. Isn't it pretty? Very pretty. Let's hold it up so they can I get a better so picture. I can see the pattern. Oh, my do you remember who so the stunning. designer is? Look at how gorgeous I that is. I do not. I'd have wow. to look that up. That is stunning. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. that looks nice on camera. Yes, it does. That looks very... I can look up the designer. I okay. have it on my... Uh, in my iBook, so I'll look that up for you. Sounds good. So this is just really a small recap of what we are, or not a recap, but just a little introduction to what we're bringing. I know we touched upon a little bit last podcast, and we wanted to give you a taste again of what's ahead. And we wanted you guys to make your lists because we know that it's so important. If you've been watching or following Christy Glass, she's been doing great coverage yeah. of who to see and what to buy. I highly agree that you should make your list and kind of go in with some direction because let Especially me tell if you're you, there on Saturday. it is overwhelming. <laughs> nice. Everyone has good stuff. Every booth has something different to offer and it's exciting. It's fun. There's going to be a, a lot of love, a lot of fiber, a lot of creativity. Yeah. yeah. And we are hoping uh, that you come by and visit us. I, we have another little surprise. I got a phone call today confirming from Paige the Framer. I don't know if any of you had been at Needles Up at Rhinebeck. She's going to be sending us her frame. So if you'd like to come by the booth and take a picture, we would love to have you. So if you're not even, if you just don't even have a shopping budget and you just want to have some fun. And take a picture. Come take a picture. It doesn't come cost say anything, hello. right? Exactly. Come mm -hmm. say hi to Lisa and Melissa. We have just fun things. Our vegan palms are in stock. We have the fur oh, the palms. palms. Oh, I would God. show you the palms, but <laughs> there's a lot. Our, we have a lot. Our, our, our container overfloweth, <laughs> as they say. And we have a lot of nice colors, too. Go the ahead. Vintage Damask is by Annie Lupton of Boho Chic Fiber Company. And Dinah will put that in the I'll notes. put it in the show notes. Right. It's can you send that to me? Yeah, sure. So what else can we say? Well, what else can we tell them, Diana? Well, I'm recovering. Believe it or not, after the flu, I developed a sinus infection and a sty. It's my annual <laughs> sty for Vogue Live. I think I get so stressed out and worked up that I bring it upon myself. But I'm sure I'm you on do. The it's, mend. A, it's a. I always found that I got styes when there was something like. Remember when I was moving and it was Emily's wedding? Yes. Remember that yes. huge sty I had in my eye? Four but days this one before didn't the get wedding. That bad. Well, that's because you got medicine for it right away. I did get medicine, yeah. but I feel like we've been doing the prepping. Like we're a little more organized. Well, Dinah, with the prep. Dinah has been making fun of me. Because, I'm not making fun. Because it's all why? about lists <laughs> and checking them off. And I we're making been... our lists and checking it twice. As they but say. I've been good. <laughs> you have been. No, well, it's a little at a time. You know, a little at a time. And um, it's like with anything else, even when you're knitting a project, right? And you have a deadline. How much of it gets done in the last week or so as you get towards the I'm deadline? I'm the worst. I'm a procrastinator, and I save everything for, like... Do you really? The mo I'm the worst. The morning of. I mean, I finished Zach's hat this morning. I wow. knew he was leaving yeah. oh, today. Oh, 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 How wow. long did I know that Zach was leaving? But I made him his hat yesterday and this morning. And you finished. Well, that's, yeah. again, that's I mean, I got it done, way. but... That is my M.O. I have one more thing to show you that I'm sure. excited about. What's that? Just get put this away. We have... Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to make noise now with the plastic. That's I'm sorry, okay. guys. That's okay. I have these beautiful stitch markers that are made by a jewelry designer. And she uses... I, you know more about that than I do. A bronzed clay. clay. And she bakes it. Right. It, it's absolutely like amazing. That. And I have to say, stay tuned because we are going to have a class here at the shop. Here at the shop. And I will be advertising. You can make your own stitch markers. It's going to be incredible. So here's just one that I could show you. 
hopefully you'll get. What's on that one? This one is a skull. Oh, jeez, look at that. So we have limited <laughs> pieces, great. but how amazing is that? That looks great. Hand done. Hand, they're fired. She does the uh, finish on it. I think I believe this one she left as is. She didn't polish it because she liked the That's patina look. Said, mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But we have so many to share with you, and we have a little stand that they're going to be on. She has some fun ones and some... <clears throat> Those are actually stamped ones. Those She These actually are, bought the charms right. and made this, them. This is not like the ones that she created, but they're going to be all different fun. These are dinosaurs. Yeah, they're all different animals. I think it's a Brontosaurus, so this one I have here. Yeah. Yep. So stay tuned for those stitch markers. You'll find them at the booth. Mm -hmm. And what else can I that say? That's going to be at the booth, isn't it? Yes, this is actually... Did we show this last time? I don't think so. I don't think you had it the last time. So the pom-pom is actually not sewn on. But it's not me, sewn on? It's not sewn How's on. How's it on there? It's pinned on. Ouch. You have to put that on. <laughs> Ouch. What kind of pin? You're pricking me with the pin. What kind of pin is that? A on? straight pin. Get out of here. Yeah, because I wasn't sure which pom-pom. I like that one. But we do like this one. So Nancy Ritchie has been... Oh, and there goes the palm. Oh. There you go. You get the Put idea. a palm on it. Yep. If you like it, put a palm on it. Um, Nancy Ritchie from Getting Pearly With It designed this... Designed a hat called Put a Palm On It. And in the spirit of Put a Palm On It, I was trying to find a yarn that we had in the same gauge. And we found Mecha. And I happened to pair it with a lovely mohair, and I don't know if you could see it, but it's glistening a little bit it's because kind of again, halo. we added a little sparkle. Yep. And of course, you can have your fun with topping it off with any of the beautiful palms. This one happens to be a rainbow one. Yeah, that's a rainbow. Love for it. sure. Yeah. So the difference with our palms, just so you know, the ones with the, there's my straight pin. There it is. <laughs> that's what I was stabbing. The fur pom poms, the natural fur, have a snap on it. And the ones that don't have, the the ones that aren't natural for have strings. So that's how you could tell the difference with ours. Right, right. The so they're tie on, strings, right, right? That you could tie on. Yep. Those cookies are making me hungry. I'm sorry. I have to take a bite. Do you know where the Lulu hat is? Didn't you I take couldn't it find home? it? No, to I watch. never took the hat. Oh, because I forgot it. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I wanted to show it to. Um, I'm not sure. Someone today, and I couldn't find it. It's got to be here. It's somewhere. We're going to have Lulu hat kits. That was really big last year. Yeah, that's so if cute. you're not familiar with that one, you should stop by and check that out if you have any little girls to knit for. Oh, and here's a shout out to Kim. Thank you for baking these lovely shortbread cookies. They look delicious. They taste delicious. Kim is responsible for the extra five pounds we carry. <laughs> Every winter. <laughs> oh my if it's God. not a and shortbread, it's a... An oatmeal, oatmeal raisin, raisin, or raisin or which a, is your, your pecan. Vegan, remember her vegan one with the chocolate chips and the bananas or something? Mm -hmm. and whatever is mm. in that. But they are delicious. Right, so, Dana? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Can't take a bite. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Go. I have a Duncan. Do I have you know my they Dunkin changed their name now? They, they're they just Duncan. It's not Duncan Donuts? No. You know why? Because now they have that whole branding with the wraps and all the mm -hmm. food and all the donuts. They don't want to be just a donut shop. No. But they'll always be Dunkin' Donuts to us. And I have to thank you for getting me a Dunkin'. There you go. Dunkin's <laughs> my favorite. It's the only way we were going to stay here. It's the only way we run <laughs> is on Dunkin'. <laughs> we run on, well, isn't that the expression? We mm -hmm. run on Dunkin', isn't that what they say? Anyway. So. All right, you guys. Is that it? We hope that we see you. In yes. our booth, we didn't even give you the booth number. We'll be in booth 721 and 820. It's on floor six, the sixth floor. We're right by the stage. At the base of the stage. So if you so, come to watch a fashion show. I was just going to say, there's fashion show, there's yarn toss, there's correct. discussion. Right. We are right there. In look the midst of it all. Mm -hmm. So look for us. Check us out. We hope you have a wonderful time. And for those of you who are not going to Vogue, Enjoy the Insta stories. Enjoy the posts on Instagram, Facebook. And we'll, and There'll we'll, be plenty of coverage, and you will feel like you are just a part of it like everybody else. And we will try to podcast also afterwards. I would love to. So we can give we'll, you a recap. We're podcasting now, which is really pretty incredible, <laughs> <laughs> considering all that we have to do. But listen, we have to take time to do it. Absolutely. And we're planning on having a lot of fun, so come by and say hi. Absolutely. Thanks for watching and tuning in. We hope to see you at Vogue. And we'll talk to you shortly. Bye. Bye.